if you're considered a public figure in court, like people are allowed to smear you to a certain extent. It's yeah. a lot harder to win a case for defamation, I guess. Because currently, um, Candace, o you know Candace Owens? Yes. Yeah, who's very beautiful. Um, just put that out there. What's up, Candace? How you doing? Um, I know you're married and have a child, but what's up, girl? Um, he, he wants she, an interview on this podcast. <laughs> I would love an interview with Candace. She's awesome. I genuinely you, you do all her, the questions because like I know like she's very and like she's very smart and she's very mm -hmm. political. I'd be like, I'd just be learning. I I I have no questions to ask because I don't know enough. Well, look, her, <laughs> I she, just sit back and listen. She this was after Cardi B had like simulated lesbian oh, sex. I remember like they had that. Yeah, they, they had, had a little scuffle on TV. Twitter. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, Cardi B eventually was reposting these articles slandering uh, Candace Owens. I think brother or i can't remember the exact detail it was slandering a family member saying that no no it was, uh saying that her husband had sex with her sister or some some close to that maybe that's not exactly yeah. right something yeah. that was literally proven wrong that is complete slander and mm -hmm. i believe candace is now suing cardi b like yeah, she's getting that, ready that, to, I, I, I but because you can far. slander the things you can slander uh, Candace, because she's a public figure to a certain extent, but you cannot go after private citizens that are her like family members, which is what Cardi was doing. Yeah, and um, that's the thing. So, like, I don't know. You know who Michael Rappaport is, right? The comedian. He's yeah. a comedian, right? You, you do hear about what he did with Kevin Durant? Like they got into a really big argument, and he leaked the DMs. So Kevin Durant and Michael Rappaport got in a really heated debate through Twitter, something like that, and. You know how you usually that, that stupid saying, or it's not stupid. That saying is that when it's if, if it's in the DMs, it stays in the DMs. You know, you don't share that with the public and stuff like that. I mean, I might. Is it legal to even do that? I don't know if it's. I don't. I don't think it is. I don't want to say stupid. I, it, it's. It's. It's an interesting idea, but like in the way, it's true. Like if it's pu DMs, you should keep it that way. Oh, keep of course. It I mean, low. just more. Yeah. yeah oh, for course. sure. Yeah. Well, Michael Rapport released those DMs because it got to a point where uh, Kevin Durant was threatening him. And was talking shit about his wife, like it's like it's like in, in, you talk shit fighting? to each other all what the time. About? I don't, I don't know. I didn't read the DMs, but then Kevin Durant came out and apologized. But like that, like that's what I said. Like people need to understand. Like we we can talk shit all the time, but when you talk about someone we love, like our like a, a wife, you know, someone you you cross in the line, buddy. What was hey, like, you don't uh, go out your family, man. You, you cross don't. the damn line. Yeah, like in the. <laughs> Those are fighting words. Yeah, it's Those like are it's fucking like, fighting words. Words, Okay. Yeah. If I was Candace, I would have just pulled up all the do all the articles that said Cardi drugged men to steal money from them. That's why I would have posted in return because I mean, that's I'm actually like, true. true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah something like Cardi. Those things. Uh, Cardi. Not too long ago either. You're too busy answering questions about me. You want to answer questions about yourself? Why were you drugging mm -hmm. men just for money? Just how about that, huh? Yeah, drugging men in hotel rooms and yeah. stealing all their money and wallets. Yeah. What yeah. a great person. What was that? Less than five years ago.